We should uh, start having a kind of a special airport uh, for us in all member states, so that that will cater, uh, you know, for us to facilitate the movement, mobility of the people, uh, connecting business to business uh, contact, uh, and trying to bring <coughs> closer the different member states from different uh, continents, uh, so that there will be more connection uh, and closer relation between uh, one another, member state and promoting tourism, of course, travelers in particular. And uh, with a view also that one day we can have a kind of a special air link between all member states. So these are all in our mind because uh, we have signed a visa agreement, but it is yet to be implemented. So we are providing this kind of a, a kind of a practical uh, proposal so that uh, we can implement all those visa agreements so that we will feel that we are close to one another. And uh, I'm happy that uh, Last year, we were able to sign the letter of intent with the uh, Sabiha Gojian International Airport, mm -hmm. uh, where that is the first airport to be uh, termed as the DA designated airport. And what they will provide in that is that they will start uh, uh, having a special fast track lane for the citizen of DA member state. And then uh, we will have a special lounge, for example, we, they will start promoting uh, DIN activities uh, to publicize member state uh, at the airport, in their magazine and things like that. Uh, they will offer us facility also for us to use for uh, a special travel fair or expos at, at the airport itself. And I'm happy to inform that when I went to uh, Abuja last year, the Minister of Civil Aviation of Nigeria agreed already to provide uh, the Abuja airport called Nakumu, yeah? Nakumu International Airport in Abuja. Last year, uh, Honorable President Edouan mentioned something about, you know, member state must start looking into using local currencies. And they came to us. They say, we have a proposal. And this is a company, FinTech company from Malaysia. So they introduced to us uh, a kind of uh, initiative uh, or what they call a D8 uh, uh, payment card, D8P card they call it. And this D8P card uh, will be <coughs> quite unique because the transaction will use local currencies for the first time. So we are looking at that possibility. And they are now talking to all the central banks of member states. So they have visited a uh, few uh, member states and had a serious discussion with the central bank of all member states. And uh, I'm happy to say that I think uh, many have uh, given their positive response. Mm -hmm. So there will be a series of application in this special card uh, that if citizens of member state can use it, so there will be application, for example, we will encourage people to start uh, uh, using it, something like MasterCard, Visa card. A special application will be developed uh, for them to, uh, to have remittance or money for migrant workers in particular. Mm -hmm. So there will be a special platform provided under this special card. And at the same time, we are also working, uh, also uh, last year, uh, we signed a statement of intent with another group, another bank, uh, offshore bank from Malaysia, for us to establish what we call a creative uh, economic and financial center, uh, D8 Creative Economy and Financial Center in Kuala Lumpur and they are now looking at uh, building a special complex uh, where they will uh, start using uh, kind of Islamic uh, principle, uh, zakat, uh, wakaf system, uh, e-halal, e-commerce, uh, blockchain, mm -hmm. uh, new technologies uh, financially uh, to develop uh, this concept so that uh, through this then uh, we will be able to start what we call a sustainable wealth development. Uh, to support SME, to support business uh, uh, entrepreneurship and things like that. And so these are things that I think will dominate uh, our work in the year 2019. And, uh, and we are now also uh, in the process of uh, uh, finalizing our decennial roadmap uh, from the year 2020 to the year 2030 where uh, when the process of handing over chairmanship 
from Turkey to Bangladesh, mm -hmm. hopefully to take place either end of this year or early next year, then we would come up with a new strategic plan. He's very uh, popular in Malaysia mm -hmm. as a leader, uh, not only for Turkey, but people uh, look forward uh, you know, to his leadership. And in the context of D8, I think people look forward to his leadership, for his wisdom and leadership uh, quality. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say uh, during Turkish championship, because Turkish had done it you know, twice uh, when we established the, the, the organization before then Turkish was the chairman. So we completed the first circle, now come back to Turkey, you know, uh, before they hand it over to Bangladesh. And during Turkish uh, 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 you know, championship, I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, I think that there is a kind of uh, understanding that uh, Honorable President has given his instruction to all the government uh, agencies, bodies, ministries, and other agencies to give full support to us, the aid organization. I think this is what we, we, we are very happy. You know, we want to thank Honorable President for his solid support uh, to the D8. And he has come up with a lot of uh, uh, kind of a vision. As I said, he made a statement last year about using local currencies, for example. It was his statement. And we work based on his vision. Uh, and I think uh, um, uh, the project uh, that is given to us also is tremendous. And I must thank also the government of Turkey for providing the facility for us, the, the aid organization. You know, and I'm happy to perhaps do early, but then I should make an announcement that uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is, uh, you know, uh, has provided all the facilities in the office to us. Mm -hmm. And we are now in the process of moving to a new place. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course it's a better uh, place and we want to thank the government of Turkey for providing this kind of facility to us, uh, you know, creating this uh, very good image of the aid as uh, important organization. And uh, so thank you and uh, to both the government and the people of Turkey for giving this kind of uh, trust, confidence mm -hmm. and, and support to us all, the, the, all this while. Yeah.